Hey, I'm Kelly, and this is what went down in the Big Brother house this week. Hello, Shania. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> How's it going? decompressing from this mildly traumatic event but here I am <laughs> <laughs> looking good and all oh geez <laughs> uh so this week it was a double eviction and let's get started with the HOH competition what were you thinking was going on at first when you woke up in the middle of the night to all that screaming Oh my god! Okay, listen. I was I am scared of the dark. <laughs> I I am gonna admit this here. I might regret this. I slept with a nightlight until I was like twenty years old. Like the idea of ghosts <laughs> scares me so much. When I woke up to the scream, I was ready to open the door and like there was like a poltergeist or something in the house. <laughs> I was so scared. And thank God I was in the room with Ty because that was the only thing keeping me sane. And I, of course, he doesn't get out of bed. I have to go open the door. So first I think it's a ghost. And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's evicted house guests coming back to like haunt us. Someone's coming back in the house. It was, it was terrifying. Like the scream alone, I was shaking for like 40 minutes. It was like a horror movie. <laughs> but then it turned because you got to see some former house guests. We and sure did. Yeah, how was that? Um, okay, very distracting, I'm not gonna lie. We hadn't, I haven't seen anybody in so long. So just to see another human in the Big Brother manner, I was like, okay, Moose was looking cute. I was like, what's going on? I still had my retainers in, my rope was on. It was, the whole thing was very distracting. And in retrospect, I did not pay enough attention to what was going on there. And, and Moose probably had something to do with that a little bit more than the other ones. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. The whole thing was overwhelming. Everyone was like, oh, Adam. I was like, really? <laughs> That's so it was, funny. it was so cool. It was so cool. I feel like I, I've never actually met any BBCAN alumni, so to meet or see any of them i was i was fangirling a little bit for sure <laughs> uh now let's talk about the pov comp there were tons of temptations uh first the letter from your grandma yes. then yeah getting to see your mom walk me through that experience oh my god okay well first of all i'm embarrassed by my performance in that competition 34 minutes is just <laughs> not not for me I was already tearing up when I saw the letter from my grandma. And I knew that as soon as I read Temptations, I knew that one of them was going to be a letter. Of course, they had to throw in the one from my grandma to really get the heartstrings going. You know, if it was my best deal, I would have said, okay, you're fine. But my grandma, <laughs> that had me emotional. Then we had the puppies, which I was like met about because I'm more of a cat person myself. <laughs> the last thing I expected when I opened that door was to see my mom. Like I, I was, it scared me first of all, like, I was genuinely scared. And then just to see her face, like even the moment in my head, when I think about it, I feel like I blocked it out. Like it was insane. And it just dawned on me that she had literally flown over halfway across the country to see me for maybe 30 seconds it, it blew my mind and getting to hug her and hearing that she's proud of me what i'm so albeit it was very very devastating moment it's something that my mom and i could share forever you know she got to see a sliver of what i've been experiencing and that's so 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 cool so although it was traumatic i'm very thankful for it oh that's awesome now ty did when that POV took Anika uh, down. Uh, did you know Claudia was going to put you up and how hard was it to be put up by one of your friends? Yeah, so I I did not think, when Claudia won that HOH, I did not ever see myself going up on that block. And truthfully, even when Ty won the veto, it took me a second to realize, oh my God, he could use it on one of them and put, and then she's forced to put up Renee and I. And in that moment, I thought of it as soon as we got in and I was like, oh my God, we're so stupid. How did we not think this scenario through? I was kicking myself for that. And then even at that time, I was like, okay, I think I'll be okay because Claudia and I had a final two. You know, it's been her and I ride or die since day one. And on top of that, we also had talks with Daniel C and Anika of having a final four. So there was two things that, and then just our relationship as in of itself, I was confident that, okay, maybe she's not gonna put me up. 
But then I started seeing the clockwork ticking. I saw Renee go into the library. I saw Claudia go into the library. I saw Ty in there. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh no. Like I felt it in my soul. Something's going on. I know Ty's rooting up something. And I, yeah, I put the pieces together pretty quickly on that one that Ty was offering them some sort of alliance or some sort of deal if she was the one to send me home. Hmm. So did you know that you were going home when you hit the block? I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I I knew that I, I mean, I guess I can't say I know anything, but from my conversations that I had with Ty prior to her putting me on the block, he basically said that because I used the veto during his HOH week, it ruined everything for him and it ruined that week for him. And so he didn't see a path where him and I could work together is essentially what I believed he was saying. So I knew that Renee wouldn't vote me out, but of course Ty didn't want me there and Anika was never going to vote out Daniel, or sorry, da- Anika, Daniel was never going to vote out, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> Anika <laughs> was going to vote out Daniel. I'm like getting confused. I just knew, I knew, as soon as I hit that block, I knew that whatever nominee went up, whether it was myself or Renee, they were the ones going home. Okay. Uh, is there anything you would change in regards to how you played your game? You know, I talked about this actually a lot with Daniel. Him and I were very similar in our gameplay. Sometimes I do wish that maybe I was a little bit more aggressive. I'm not a very confrontational person. So for me to like bust down doors and go into rooms and demand to know what's going on and, you know, force conversations when they're not happening naturally, it very much goes against my nature. So that's something that I considered, but truth be told, I don't think I would have been very successful had I done that. You know, I'm the type of person, if I don't stick to myself, stick to my guns, I'm going to, I'm going to fumble more than I already fumbled. So I don't know if that would have worked for me. I think if anything, there's, if anything that I regret is perhaps maybe, yeah, not being a little bit more like assertive with my conversations with people, but it just, I, I have to feel proud that I stuck to myself throughout that whole game. That's good. What were some of your favorite moments in the Big Brother Canada house? Oh my gosh, there's been so many. I think one moment that I think about a lot, is, I don't even remember, it was the first couple of days, we all sat in a circle, all of us, and we said what we were thankful for. It was so corny, but it was so, it was so nice. And it, it, it was very naive because we were like, oh, we're all going to be friends and none of us are going to fight. And this was before so much happened. So I reflect on that moment a lot because it truly feels like I hope that that's something we can all get back to. That's a huge moment for me. Um, The first, the truth or dare night was hilarious. I love that. (laughs) And then we, you know, we got a party one night and all those moments where we were just able to laugh and be silly and be goofy. I loved all of those where it really just felt like we were outside of the game. And Last but not least, getting to use that veto and winning that veto, even if it's what sent me packing and that was Ty's vendetta against me, it felt so good. It was <laughs> terrifying. It was scary. I was like sweating through every part of my body, but it was so satisfying. So that's definitely a top moment for me. That is amazing. And lastly, who has your vote to win so far? Uh, I hate to admit this, but I would have to begrudgingly vote for Ty to win that it's like his game is phenomenal although i don't agree with a lot of the aggressiveness to his social game it's worked for him and he owns it you know he's he's the first to admit that he's more of an aggressive player so i have to respect it the fact that he's been alone in the house for basically since dan left and he's able to pull out all these wins pull himself off the block he is a fighter he is an intelligent player he is respectful as well he has great sportsmanship he truly truly is playing a very very good game and i hate to say that but i will say (laughs) oh man well shania thank you so much for chatting with me i really appreciate it (laughs) But have fun in the jury house. Yes, I will. I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. No problem. Take care, Shania. Bye. Bye.